Good morning, everyone. It's about 8 a.m., which is earlier than I'm used to waking up these days, but uh, we got something new for the for the element. Hopefully it's a good one. This is a true unboxing. Haven't laid eyes on it yet. Just opened it up. This little doodad comes from Element Driven, and it is a tent. Whoa, <laughs> some stickers. You know me, I like stickers. Let's put it together and see what it's like. All right, so excusing the mess that is perpetually in the back of my car for my powered paragliding obsession, we have just a few parts, really. Instruction manual, looks like it's got a lot of really good pictures, very in-depth. Looks like five different pieces of fabric these two poles, which I'm sure the instruction manual will go into, but I'm pretty sure they're supports for the for the hatch to stay open. Uh, carrying bag and looks like installation uh, Velcro, a few screws, and of course the stickers. Can't forget the stickers. So let's dive into it here. Okay, it looks like step one is cleaning. The door piece mounts to the plastic here, so let's scrub that down. I don't have any degreaser, but I do have. Uh, window cleaner. So we'll start there, and then we're going to apply Velcro across that. And it says verify where the Velcro will go, and the top of the door basically goes the entire length of this, including over the latch. Uh, not really sure if there's supposed to be Velcro on the latch, but I'm not going to put Velcro on that latch. It says to use an alcohol pad that comes with it, scrub all that down, let it dry, and then Velcro, like so. Something like that, hopefully. Might have gone a little overboard. And then... Same thing on the bottom, apparently. You may need a helper to hold down the lift gate. Please, I can hold down my own lift gate. Psh, done. See? Velcro. Velcro. Yeah, alright, it's coming together. Alright, and the rest of the instructions are basically, uh, you should figure out how this works. Which is true. It all does make sense. Um, I've been severely shorted on Velcro, though. I've only got two more left. I might have gone a little crazy up top, but this is the part that's going to have most of the stress on it. So, that stinks. And I also got shorted on these screws. Um, it says I was supposed to get four of these, I only got two. So the side panels have little snaps in them, there, and there, and that's supposed to be a little stronger, and I was going to use those, but I guess i got to find two more of those little screws on my own. Anyways, let's see if I can get at least one side up. So this is actually pretty smart, the way it lips onto this plastic and then down the seal. So we've got that little tab. It's inside of the shock. Throws on like that. And then all of these go down the inside. But I'm out of Velcro. That was, uh, that was it. That was the last piece. So I got the door and the side panel on. I still have, a, well, not even the whole side panel. I've still got most of the side of the side panel and the bottom and the floor and the uh, hinge cover and the other side panel and I didn't use nearly as much velcro as I wanted to on the bottom I still got big holes like that so uh more velcro please let me go get some and we will continue this another time and different day same install pretty much done so I had to get a lot more velcro but it all just goes up there the the same as the other side did. Um, overall, fit and finish, pretty good. It's uh, Everything's cut relative to correct shape. We've got this whole upper flap that keeps the water and bugs out. All this rolls down. The little toggles that holds it up. So that rolls all the way down. It also has 
just a screen. So very much a tint going on there, the screen door action. Uh, yeah, it, it fits well. I'd like to see, and I'm probably gonna add something right there, a little bit of Velcro. I know this is rubber and that's probably why it wasn't included, but you know, maybe just tuck it up under there or something. Um, yeah, so it's Velcro all down the sides. Velcro up this seam. I'm still not sure why this seam exists. I just leave it together when I take it apart. Fits well. Looks like it belongs on the car. It's, it's definitely purpose built for the car. So now let's see how waterproof it is. All right, so I feel like I should mention there were no claims of uh, super waterproofness, but that's probably the most water it's ever going to be subjected to. Direct attack of sorts. You know, if it's raining this hard, you probably should uh, close up the hatch, but. All down the side there. And also from the top. I actually set my sprinkler on top of my car <laughs> on the sun roof, moon roof, and uh, letting it rain. So let's see what it looks like from the inside. Yeah, so it does leak a little bit. Uh, actually, concerningly, I have water dripping from my dome light. So that's something I need to sort out. That's nothing to do with the rain dean tent, but uh, nothing really coming down to the sides. A little, little damp coming through this rear part so definitely not super duper waterproof but uh you know in light showers it'd be all right so that's the most water i've got it's uh well it's quite a bit if there was a bed back here i wouldn't be happy but i'm also on quite a slope it's not level ground so i feel like that may or may not be accurate because this whole hatch tips upwards right so the uh, the idea is the water would flow this way and then down the channels and now it's basically level I don't know if I'm helping that or not yeah, direct waterproofness not so much uh, if I just take my hand and feel in here it's pretty dry except the seams right along the top there of course I had this drip from the Dome light area. I actually don't think it was the dome light area. I think it was coming down and around this seam. But anyways, light showers. It's going to pour. Fold it up. Get inside. Because that's not uh, not the most waterproof tent attachment. So, Rain Dean 5D tent. Uh, final thoughts. Not bad. It's good for light rain. Definitely good for extending your usable floor space and sleeping area. And that's what I'm going to be using it for. It's just uh, the tent add-on gives me that extra two feet worth to have a better bed because I'm six foot two. It also came with these extension poles to help support the corners, but uh, I did not need them. I've got good shocks. So uh, yeah, overall, would I buy again? Yes, I would. Uh, shipping from Element Driven, they were a little delayed. It, it took a while to get these, but overall, Goodbye. I, w I would get it again. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed the review and uh, drop a comment down below what your best interior bed setup is. I might have to invest in something more than just fold the seats flat. Thanks for watching.